Hey guys, Nitza Gamer here, and I'm finally doing another game of Harry yes. Potter in the. Challenge everything. Uh, thank you, Logo. I'm doing another game of Harry Potter. This time I'll be doing Prisoner of Azkaban. So, for those of you who don't know, I did um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and it's my most viewed Let's Play, so it works for the fact that. Oh, goddamn, cutscene. Okay, I'll explain later after you see this cutscene. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Okay, you have got to admit that that cutscene, especially with them walking up to the Shrieking Shack in the winter, is it's a really well done cutscene. I mean, even to this day, I mean, yeah, the CGI duh, is dated and such, but it still looks pretty, pretty impressive. So guys, this is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So for those of you who don't know, I've I did um, another Harry Potter game about over two years ago or something, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and um, I did 100% that game, and it is on GameCube, same thing with this game, I'm doing it on GameCube. Uh, I just need to figure out if there's any save files here. So yeah, since my views have been pretty low, I figured if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna get more views, then I'm gonna have to do it through um, another Harry Potter game, and yeah, so I'm pretty excited to play this game, and I don't memorize this game as much as Chamber of Secrets, so don't expect me to actually um, find everything on spot or anything like I did in Chamber of Secrets. Blimey. Twelve years ago, Sirius Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Imagine it, a single curse. Crookshanks! No! Get out of here! Can't you keep that monster under control? Now I'm gonna have to find Scabbers. Calm down, Ron! You don't want to wake up Professor Lupin, our new defense against the Dark Arts teacher. I'll help you find Scabbers. Come on. Yeah, because clearly both, um... Clearly both Lupin's name and description is on his suitcase. Where's his suitcase? I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, I agree. So, here we go. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So, as I said before, um, I don't memorize this game as much as I do with Chamber of Secrets, so I'll, I'll try my best to not wander all over the place and try to make sure I get through this game as quickly and efficiently as I can, but also try to make it an entertaining Let's Play. However, I did actually watch someone else's Let's Play to actually make sure that I can actually play this game uh, without wandering all over the place. So yeah, I'm pretty glad that I man that I can now get back to this game because I do like this game. I really do. Okay, I gotta use the R button to target. Ah, jeez, that is terrible. Okay. okay, I think I gotta wait until the book's mouth is open or something. So yeah, this is kind of our first boss in this game, is the Monster Book of Monsters. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make this a good let's play because I rem because looking back at some of the previous parts, I was kind of like, yeah. So let's do this, do that. I mean, if I do that, then I apologize on, because um, I've been pretty much awake all on, day, Harry. so Give it's hard to say whether or not if I can still make this in a a grand let's play. So um, anyway, so yeah, this is. You're probably wondering why I haven't really done uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and the reason for that is pretty simple. I don't have the Sorcerer's Stone yet. I just have Chamber of Secrets all the way up to um, Order of the Phoenix for the Nintendo consoles. 
Jones. Well, look who it is. Potty and the weasel. Do, do, I should have do, known do, this pathetic do. excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Give him back, Malfoy. Or what, Weasley? Or, uh, or oh. I'll rick to Sempra. You asked for it, Malfoy. Yeah, so this is gonna be, I mean, this this is kind of like the sequel to um, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets in a way. I mean, once it gets to Goblet of Fire, they really change up the gameplay. I mean, what I mean by that is that um, the Sorcerer's Stone had a really unique gameplay that actually makes it a really good licensed game. And many people argue that uh, Chamber of Secrets is actually pretty dang good. Damn it. This gets annoying. Many people argue that Chamber of Secrets is a pretty dang good license game, and some people will argue whether or not if Prisoner of Azkaban or Chamber of Secrets is really the better Harry Potter game, and to be honest, it actually does come pretty damn close which one is the better one, because, um, because this one is actually pretty unique, because it does update the visuals, but at the same time, there's a lot of lag in this game. And I'm not going to completely ignore the fact that there's going to be a lot of lagging in this game, so it does have problems. Smiling on the other side of your face now, aren't you, Malfoy? Come on, Ron. Why is the train stop? I mean, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is definitely one of my favorite um, games on the GameCube to actually play. And Prisoner of Azkaban, I maybe have only played through maybe twice, and it is a really good game, don't get me wrong. So yeah, this is where we get the Dementor attack, and... Uh, headache. And this death is manual, you have to literally die. That is actually pretty damn scary. Well, thank God Hermione decided to actually come. <sighs> Instead, uh, hey, your, your, your cat's right there. At least grab your cat. So now we get to play as Ron, and we are Dragon Harry. So yeah, this is the unique thing with Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I mean, for the first two Harry Potter games, we just play as Harry. But the unique thing about Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which, you, which is pretty much advertised on the back of the case, is that we get to play as Ron and Hermione, and that's the unique thing about this game. But in some ways, it can get repetitive, which is why people consider Chamber of Secrets to be better. Yeah. And we're going to have to do a lot of wiggling for the control stick when facing up against the Dementor, so we're pretty much going to be breaking our control stick. Crookshanks, you better get running. Good. Good. Was that a second Dementor or something? Because there's only one. I'm not going the wrong way. Shut up. Okay, come on. You can make it. None of us is hiding serious black under our cloaks. Yeah. Yeah, there's supposed to only be one. Why is there two? Harry! Harry! Are you alright? What? What? Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Who screamed? No one screamed. But I heard screaming. Here, eat it. It'll help. What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. Are you sure you're okay, Harry? Fine. Take this book, Harry. I'm sure it'll help. It has a few pages missing, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them at Hogwarts. Yeah, this is a coincidental game mechanic, right? You gotta... I, I'm gonna give you a book with a few pages missing, but don't worry, you'll be able to find it around Hogwarts in a convenient place that no one has actually picked up at and probably burned those pages. The Hogwarts Express reached its destination, and soon Harry and his friends were safely in Gryffindor Tower. Knowing that Sirius Black was likely to be looking for him troubled Harry deeply, and Professor Dumbledore's announcement about Dementors patrolling the gates while Sirius Black was still at large only confirmed his fears. But finding himself back in the familiar dormitory, 
Harry felt he was home at last. Harry, did you have a look at the folio brutai that Lupin gave you then? No, not yet. Come on, let's have a look at it then. Show it to me. Yeah, I wonder how many pages the book has. Come on, show me the folio brutai. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, wait. Are you telling me that you are trapping me in here until I actually show Come you the on, damn book? You know what, Ron? I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I'm not showing you the book. Screw you. Instead, I'm just going to see what's in my um, uh, suitcase here. I'm not going here. anywhere until you've shown me the folio brutai. Well, screw you, Ron. I'm not going to show you it because you trapped me in here. You're no friend. So uh, here's our inventory. So um, we have uh, challenge scores, which... We'll probably uh, look at That's later. Wicked. So here's the you folio brutai. Find the rest of those pages. Oh, I accidentally opened it. God damn it, Ron! You had your way. Anyway, so yeah, apparently by few pages missing, he actually means um, there's only one page, which coincidentally happens to be the Dementor. The guards of Azkaban prison. Dementors are among the foulest creatures that walk this earth. Yeah. So, even though he gave him a book, there happens to be only one page in it. One freaking page. And for some reason, Lupin knows that it's spread all throughout Hogwarts. How does that... W okay, it's video game logic. And, yeah, that's one thing that I will say when it comes to licensed games, or even the Harry Potter games, is that it's really weird how... Like, how... The mechanic of all this actually works and all that. I mean, yeah, it's obviously a video game and such and video game logic. And to be honest, that's the kind of medium video games are. They're not supposed to make sense. They're supposed to have like these collectibles and they're supposed to, you know, run against logic and such. So, yeah, the unique thing about this game is that we do play as Harry, Ron and Hermione. So cool. Let's go show it to Hermione. So, am I officially not trapped? Oh, thank God. Oh, Ron, I just want to tell you one thing. Wait, I just need to organize myself. Screw you for trapping me. Now, I don't think we can open up these other cases. I, I'll try. Yeah, I don't think we can. I think maybe when we actually do play as Ron later on, we'll be able to actually um, open up uh, Ron's case. But we have to do it while we play as Ron. And yeah, the first and the second game had a, a similar um, design with how Hogwarts is designed. With this game, it's redesigned, but similar Hi. at the same time. Sorry, I'm really busy at the moment. I've got so much work to do. But well, it's only the first day. You had lots of trouble with Draco on the train. Yes. Well, you could have made it so much easier for yourself with the Expelliarmus spell. The spell books over there. Of course, we could have knocked so Thanks. We could have actually knocked their wands out. Genius. We could have used Expelliarmus, knocked the wands out, and that's it. That I mean, that's what the Expelliarmus is for, right? I remember the Expelliarmus spell. I learned this last year. All right, so we we go to our inventory. Um, we have a list of spells. So, yeah. Now, uh, I can't show you at the moment, but each little slot actually um, uh, it differentiates on like a certain character. So, as Harry, there's only two other spells that we need to learn, which is uh, Carpe Retractum and Ex Expecto Patronum. And then Ron, which we have yet to actually um, play. Like, the B button is when we can switch characters and... We still have yet to actually be able to play as Ron, but Ron only learns one spell, which is Lumos, which is later on in this game. And Hermione is the one who actually learns Ron, the most. Just a second! Okay, so Ron, stand there while I knock the wand out of your hand. Wait. The fuck is this? This is an Expelliarmus, that's a freaking shield! So yeah, just like the, um... Just like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Expelliarmus, for some reason, is a shield. That was not what Expelliarmus is. Expelliarmus is to disarm an opponent, not to bring out a shield. But yeah, in both Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, that's what Expelliarmus is going to be. Okay, then. You cast Rapendo at me, and I'll try and use Expelliarmus. Okay. Come on! 
Gosh, Lupendo at me. Shut up, Ron. Ah. All right. Now it's my turn. I'll cast Rapendo at you, and you use Expelliarmus to knock my spells away. No, that's Get supposed ready, to be with Protego, Three, not Expelliarmus. Two, one. Uh, but yeah, in a way, um, the game pretty much has its own unique way of actually um, having spells. Like, Flapendo, you never see in the books or the movies. But it's pretty much the game's unique way of having some sort of stunning spell. Eventually, they do update this in the later games, like in Order of the Phoenix. I mean, I haven't played um, Half-Blood Prince or The Deathly Hallows Part 1 or Part 2. I mean, I have played Sorcerer's Stone, but that's when I rented it. That was cool. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go and see Fred and George. Good idea. We'll see what they have. All right. So one thing to actually expect in this game, and apparently I found this out when I was watching this one person's Let's Play, um, the characters do a lot of bitching and moaning, and it will get annoying, just so you know. So, yeah, just to show that the doors are locked, apparently they put locks on the doors. That makes total sense, but then again, video game logic. Um, Alright, so um, we can't play as Ron yet until what later. Villains are these that trespass upon the lands of I? Sir Where is he? Hey, come over here. You know what? Sure. Screw yeah. you, Sir Cadogan. I mean, even in the movie, actually, they don't show him in the movie surprisingly. But if you do watch two deleted scenes, or was it two, or was it one? I forget. But Sir Cadogan is on. in the um, Prisoner of Azkaban, cool. just in two deleted scenes. So yeah, this is a cool game mechanic where you are restricted from going anywhere in Hogwarts. You could argue this could get annoying, but at the same time, I think it's pretty unique because it restricts you from going anywhere else, so that way you don't actually um, do any more side quests. It keeps the storyline much more linear, so therefore it makes all the exploring happen, happen near the end of the game, so that way it gives you a reason to come back to this game even if you beat in it. Yeah. Should Jimmy snuggled up in your little beddy bed right now? What's it to you? Well, if you're gonna be like that, here's a little bedtime story to keep you busy. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. I hope it has monsters. 